Hello, Commanders. Welcome back to the XCOM stream with Lewis and Ben. Saving the world. Saving the world. Saving the world. Saving the world. I went a bit Jeremy Clarkson then. <laughs> <Yeah>. Saving <laughs> the world. How's everyone doing out there? Oh. So uh, we, we've decided to return yeah. and do a new uh, playthrough of Open XCOM. Yeah, the original, the original flavor. UFO Defense XCOM Enemy Unknown. It had a lot of titles. Yeah. And they took the times. best ones when they made the new XCOM, didn't they? They called it XCOM Enemy Unknown. Yeah, which is confusing. So yes, uh, thank you everyone for tuning in. Uh, we're going to have to make you guys take over the roles of some chumps, if you're yeah, willing. Yeah, please help us save the world. We cannot do it. Um, so yeah, all right. Well, you, do you want to um, do, do, you, do you do the menus? Oh, shall I explain that what? we are playing the final mod pack? Da -da, da -da, version, version one point. Da -da 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 -da. Thanks, seven. Da -da -da -da. So this uh, is the first of August. Zero So it's updated yesterday. Yeah. At five minutes past midnight. It's up to date. Uh, it is brand new. Brand new spanking. It's got like uh, like a hundred mods or something in it. It's crazy. It's so full of stuff. Ben said to me there are more. Cause there's more content at the start of this game than there is is in the entirety of the game as it was before. And I agree. That was a confusing statement to make. <laughs> and I went, "What do you mean?" And he said, well, you know, when you start the game, there's so many new things that there's more than you had, you would have had choice at the end of the game. Yeah, because like in old XCOM, you, you get rifles, then you get laser rifles, then you get plasma rifles, then you're done. But apparently there's more stuff than that. And you'll see, right? We're not going to just tell you what there is. No, you're and to be honest, to I've only played this for about 20 minutes. And we don't know if it's going to work so, or crash. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know if it's going to be really hard. We don't no. know how much harder it's going to be. There's going to be new weird aliens we've never seen before. And I don't know what they do. I haven't read the notes. There might not be, though. Let's not make promises we can't keep. <laughs> there, there might not will be. be anything. There will new. be super exciting things. There might not be, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just putting I, it out there. I tell you what, I'm just lowering people's expectations. I'll tell you what, there will be. There will be attack dogs. Oh, what? My my new favorite thing. I can't wait. All right, so we're gonna have a new game on Superhuman Hello? Iron Man. Yeah, because that's how we roll, baby. It's the only way to play. And we got the first decision. <laughs> Can people hear that music? It's a bit like um, Billy Jean, isn't it? We're not playing in the sea, are we? No, we're on the oh, land. Oh, fuck. I mean, I've played, we've played so <laughs> much Terror from the Deep. <laughs> yeah. that I, were I you about just, to click in the Atlantic? Yeah, I was just <laughs> assuming we would be on, in the sea. <laughs> I was looking at the sea. Oh. I was like, okay, where are we going to go? We want to cover Europe. We wanna, and I was thinking, like, maybe Man, South China. You're right, because we've, we've no. played a hell of... Because we only did, like, uh, three streams of original XCOM before we completed it, didn't we? <laughs> Is there anywhere that you're thinking that we should um, go? Well, we normally go Europe, so maybe we should go somewhere else this time. For differences. Maybe we should go to China. But then again, it's like World War II, isn't it? You know, we should always. No, we, maybe... should, we should always invade Poland. <laughs> 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 when in doubt. <laughs> when in doubt, invade <laughs> Poland. <laughs> I don't think that's a bad suggestion, you know. <laughs> you think... I mean, it covers a good area of Poland. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> we'll set up it near to Warsaw in like an old abandoned industrial estate. Okay. Um, what should we call it? Um, we'll name it after um, the first person who's donated at three seconds past five. Oh, they were quick off the draw, weren't they? He really knew it. It's Rubber Knife. Ah, oh, welcome aboard. Rubber Knife HQ. Okay. Sweet. Oh, it's actually appeared on the map now when you zoom in as well. Oh, nice. It's I nice. Like that. All right. Surrounded by, by cities. You, uh, yeah, I mean, temp I was thinking of going on holiday. You know, we could go to, you know, Western Australia. Oh, okay, yeah. Or we could go to, like, Papua New Guinea here. As you can see, this represents the jungle, this mm -hmm. texture. Uh, I guess bobbly, this is grass, green. grassland and desert and mountains. I don't know what these colours represent. I feel like there's a lot less green in Australia than this game is mountains. showing us. This is like... Is this part of the mod pack? I don't remember the map being so colourful. <laughs> no, I don't remember it being this. Maybe it was, Maybe it was though, Ben. Maybe it know. was. This is desert. This is hot desert. Maybe it's like nice desert. I don't know. It's a bit weird, that stripe, isn't it? Mm. And there's the North Pole. Old well, Santa lives up there. <laughs> and the Eskimos live over here, I guess. Goose Bay. And what was that place in Finland called? Is it called Hammerfest? Hammer... Hammerfest. Oh, Hammerfest. 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 Man, that sounds like a cool place. Hammerfest. Welcome to Hammerfest. Let's not tour the world too much. Let's get up there. Should we get in? 
Um, it's different. Oh my god, it's different. There's a large living quarters. Um, a large storage facility there. So we've got general mm -hmm. stores here, I guess. Uh, no, that's a workshop. A big corridor. Um, no, that's large storage. Oh, that's a workshop, is it? Yeah. So we don't have any stores. To start. Uh, I think it's part of the living quarters. If you go to base information, let's have a look. Um, yeah, we've got stores. Hmm. Quite well, a lot of stores. There you go. Does it, it doesn't actually say when you. No, it doesn't say what it does. I think if we go to the Expensive. UFO PDO. Two and a half million oh, for a large Wow. Well, it is really four tiles be. worth. It should, yeah. be, should be pretty good. Is this going to have a different. Um, Oh, layout maybe in the base, base defense. Oh, yeah, oh. we're just going to dive straight into this. It's exciting. It's just like a game. So we want a large radar. <laughs> it's system. like a game. It is like a game. It's <laughs> like a game. Sorry. Um, look at this layout. This is not a layout. It's like, different, is it? isn't it? Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, we definitely need to keep keep that bottom right um, hangar bay like. I mean, they come in via the access lift. Yeah, and the hangers. And the hangers. I guess we want more stuff at the back. Yeah. Oh dear. We are going to probably uh, have to defend it at some point. Yeah. Is there anything else we need to start? Should we get another lab going at the start? I mean, it does feel like this. It's a, there's probably new stuff to research, right? Oh my gosh. Mm. Advanced files, motion scanner, or healing spray, as opposed to medikit. Okay, maybe there's medikits like a level up from that. I don't think anyone's going to need healing sprayed. No. I don't think healing spray is going to serve, solve any wounds. It's like that a we disinfectant. Sustain. That's all it is. I feel like anyone who's been shot has either had their limbs blown off or be unrecoverable with a fiery <laughs> yeah. explosion. Well, I think we, we both know we want advanced firearms, don't we? I'm pretty sure we want advanced firearms. Hello, we probably want to get as many scientists as we can afford. The Sky Raider one. Yeah, so there's more different aircraft. So this isn't a Sky Ranger? No. Should all we look right. at the Europopedia? Get, get the. Get the skinny on it. It can only hold 10 people. Mm, not 14. I'll get used to. UFOpedia. XCOM Craft and Armament. So that's the sky range that we yeah, know and love. it's traditional. Holds 14 people. Yeah. This is the sky raid. It holds 10. But it's faster, I think? Maximum speed, acceleration. It is far faster. twice as fast. Oh, wow. And right. it has better accelerate. No, it's not twice as fast. A little bit faster. Fuel capacity is the same. Okay, so it's just faster, carries less people. What's heavy weapon platform? That's capacity? how many tanks it can hold. Oh, I see. Maybe this is a funny shape then. Ah, uh, yeah. So it can only, it's only got one f two by two. All right, cool. What else is in here? Uh, AWACS. What is this? It's like a radar plane. Okay. Um, so I... Th what does it do? It doesn't have guns. I think it's like a mobile radar that flies around so you can like look for UFOs. A scanning plane. Yeah. These all look the same. Yeah. Okay. Oh, God. Where do I start? Let's, let's equip the craft uh, with what we have. Okay. And we'll take the first We, need, we definitely need two more crew members. We need two more crew members. So let's get those in. We should probably get a whole bunch of guys because, you know, uh, some of them might not make it back. You want 30? Is that going to be enough to get us started? Uh, yeah, and then we'll see if we've got any more money left over after. How, how do these um, take up space, attack dogs? I think so. I don't know. But we need loads. What do you mean? I, well, I, ju I just really want to use attack dogs. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they do. I feel they sound a amazing. Bit, a bit bad using attack dogs. I well, reckon we start with a scout tank. Okay, and some smoke pellets. Does, okay. Should we find out what the scout tank does? I'm guessing it doesn't shoot anything. It's probably just got s smoke bombs. Do we want to use four spaces on a smoke machine? Well, listen, I think that it might just be a good idea to have a chump, chump tank. Oh, uh, okay. Sure. Uh -huh. Tank minigun sounds good. Pistol, combat knife, combat pistol, knife. magnum, submachine gun, assault rifle, rifle, sniper rifle, shotgun, light machine gun, heavy machine gun, light minigun, minigun, rocket launcher, grenade launcher, flamethrower. Holy shit. Anti personnel mines, incendiary grenades, stims, painkillers, first aid kits, armored vest, Taser. hazmat armor, tasers. Oh my god, we got all the things. Wow. Well, this is unusual. Right, let's just order in. 30 scientists, 8 soldiers, 4 attack dogs, and a scout tank. Oh, can we, can we buy a minigun? And a minigun. Is there okay. anything we haven't got? Oh, oh, yeah. Almost everything. Light machine guns and heavy machine guns. They're expensive, but we can give them a go. I want to try all the new stuff out. Um, we'll get a light minigun and a heavy minigun. We'll get one of each and four... four. We're not going to use rocket launchers. We'll get a grenade launcher. See what that does. Cool. 
and a flamethrower oh, with some flamethrower tanks. Yeah. And then do we? Put oh, we definitely want electro flares. Oh, for the night for, missions. For the night missions, yeah. We'll get like two armor for our favorite guys. Oh, and we need a hazmat suit for the flamethrower guy. Right, you got it. Yeah. We're gonna have to put ourselves in. Right. What oh, happens if we die in the and game? And a sniper rifle. Oh, this is going to be a mess. <laughs> This is Everyone's going to have a different gun. It's going to be amazing. All right. Well, I'm already overwhelmed. <laughs> uh, let's name our soldiers then. You're in. Burrito. Okay. Space that's burrito that's our initial group. What did Space Burrito say on the... Sorry, I hit oh. the memorial button and it made oh. a scary sound. Oh. <sighs> Freaked right. me out. I'm glad we're back in original XCOM. Like the art style and everything about it. It's just, I prefer it. Do you know what I mean? This game does have a habit of freaking you out. <laughs> Um, oh, this is a very small, hovering over a rusher. Scramble! A very, very small. Do we have more options on um, on aeroplane loadouts? Didn't check that. Aha! You got him. I know where he is. He's here. He's in Siberia. He's it's a wiener. A, it's a very small, that's a one man. Pod, this. Yeah, it's like one of those little toy UFOs. One mano. We're gonna we're gonna just blast him from close range because I don't think he has a gun on this thing. Oh man! Didn't even didn't, didn't even manage to like make it through. Didn't survive. That UFO. I don't think we have any. We don't have any info, but it's a baby. It's a tiddler. We know that one. Yeah. It's 1999, Ben. We're oh, gonna party like it's the far future of 1999. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, do you reckon it was oh, like? Do you think like? On December 31st, like all our planes are going to crash and the base will self-destruct because of the Y2K virus. Yeah, we are pretty pretty behind on the old tech, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, we need to update our software. Damage 10, range 10. Reload time, 4 seconds. So 10 damage every 4 seconds. At 25% accuracy. This is 100 damage every ages. <laughs> Every glacial ice age, <laughs> they deal 100 damage. One light machine gun. One We're literally just going to take one, one of everything. Well, you need to figure out what they do. <laughs> yeah, that's we don't true. need a rocket launcher. No, we know what that does. We want to see what's effective so we can get either more of them or less of them. Yeah. If they're a piddly shit cannon and they're garbage, then, then we need to know. What was all that stuff at the bottom? Um, Electric flares, first aid kit, painkiller stims, smoke grenade. All right, probably okay. all that. Should we put um, the armor on as well? On chin strap. Chin strap gets an armored vest, I guess. And should we find out who's strong enough to use the flamethrower and then give them the hazmat suit? This guy's um, gonna be the. Ha this guy's gonna be the space burrito. That, space that fits with a flamethrower in my mind. For yeah, some reason. I, I don't know why that is, <laughs> but it works. So oh. he's now. What happened to your my, chair? My chair just went ping. Should we name the planes as well? Because we've got, oh, yeah, we've got loads of people idea. donated. All right, we can name the, the planes. Uh, this is Giggles. 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 Giggles Limited. Limited. The Sky Ranger. Not Ranger. Sky. What's it called? Raider. Jarkor. Oh, Jarkor's back. I had dinner with Jarkor, you know. We went out. We had a nice time. He's a nice chap. He is a nice chap. Yeah. I liked him. Oh, we've got the attack dogs. Oh, put the dogs on board. I wonder what they. I wonder if they take up crew slots. No. Are they equipment? Yes. Okay, they do take up... Oh, they take up a soldier slot, and you can only have one. Hmm. Oh, I wanted to name the dog. Can I not name him? You can only have one. Well, you uh, could name him. Oh, he counts as a tank. Oh, and this plane can only carry one tank. One heavy weapon platform. Right. <laughs> sure. Sure. Is he like four tiles? How big are these dogs? <laughs> Oh, I'm really excited to send the dogs in. Oh, the tank's here. The scientists are here. Okay. Oh, I didn't check if there was anything to manufacture. Oh, oh we can make stun rods. Stun rods. Okay, okay yeah. I guess we have to do that. Let's make a few of that. Whoa, not infinite stun rods, surely. What's wrong with infinite? So um, it's not going to break reality. <laughs> the, site, the engineers are just going to go, I get, I get what you mean, because they're engineers. They're practical people. Right. We understand. We're not going to make an infinite supply of stun rods. They, or, or are they going to like try and actually do it? They're like, oh my god, we're going to have to break physics. I, yeah, they're not even going to start building one until they've figured out a method. In for order to build an infinite amount of stun rods, we're going to have to. <laughs> we'll have to travel back quantum. in time. Afraid you're, well, actually, no, he's he's probably a heavy man. A lot of people are rolling like the highest strength available. Oh, good. Well, we need it because we've got all these new heavy weapons to try out. Do they get stronger as well if they carry them around? I think so. Is there a gym we can send them to? All right. 
We, we adminned up. We're, I think we're ready to go on our first oh, mission. Advanced firearms. Working upon the most recent advances in human engineering, a number of weapon designs was developed to give the XCOM troops more firepower and flexibility on the B field. Ooh. Oh my god. So we can now research auto cannons, explosive ammo, heavy cannons, tactical sniper rifles, incendiary ammo, and multi launchers. What do you reckon? Multi launchers. Like it. Multi. How could you not pick something that's called a multi launcher? <laughs> Sounds mad as landing site. One. Oh, shit. They snuck They snuck in. They snuck into Greece. We didn't even notice. That's not Greece. It's Yugoslavia. Oh, yeah. Best. You're right. Yeah, it's nowhere near Greece. Might even be a little bit of Miles Croatia. Off. Don't know what I was thinking. So Croatia's like this croissant shape, isn't it? Mm. Around around the sort of around here, I found out. I didn't realise that before. Well, that whole area is kind of a bit of a mess, isn't it? Like it's always changing. Wow, these are weird, weird little windows that are popping up. I'm not used to seeing this stuff. Because uh, it's not terror from the deep. Ah, he's our dog. He's got a dog. Oh, he is a dog. <laughs> he is a dog. Can you give him stuff? Uh, he can carry ammo. No, he but can't. He can His carry weight is uh, one of two. He can carry two weight. You could give him like a little ball, maybe. Can I give him a smoke grenade? Oh, it's too heavy. What can he carry? There's um, one. A rifle clip? No. We need to find something that he can carry that is one uh, An electro weight. flare. No. Put a knife. Give him a knife. Fuck it. <laughs> no, I want to give that to give a soldier. Give him a fucking knife. I'm going to give him an electro flare because it looks like a ball. <laughs> um, I don't think that's good. It's going to slow him down. We need our dogs to be... We need, Don't give him a... Uh, actually, give him but that. But you could wear him down. We could have him as an ammo caddy. He could literally just be like, bam. He carries a rucksack full of bullets and just follows our men oh around. Oh, my God. That's terrifying. <laughs> Don't do like, that. have you seen that robot Jesus dog? Christ, that minigun ammo pack is huge. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Have you seen that clip of that robo dog mule thing? It's oh, like yeah. a pack mule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's terrifying. I wanted to see if we can can actually give him an electro flare, see if we can chuck it. Okay. Because Cause he's a good then boy. he can come out of the thing and chuck his own ball. <laughs> Amazing. Right, so we've got Grenadier Deadlock. Um, is he a Grenadier of regular grenades or Grenadier of grenade launching? Let's go to the people who are good first. Oh, look at that. He's got the armor. Triple X member, chin strap 18. So what's he want? He's got a grenade launcher at the moment. Um, His accuracy is really good. We don't, we don't want the grenade launcher on him. He's too good for that. Right. Give him uh, an actual gun. Let's take those like, um, launchers away. He needs to shoot accurately. Well, like um, this? A heavy machine gun? How heavy? It's very heavy. Holy shit! It's very heavy indeed. Um, a submachine gun? Or a no one's going to be able to carry that. <laughs> How heavy is the minigun? <laughs> Fuck. Not oh. as heavy as the heavy machine gun. All right, that's perfect. 33, 33. We're done with him. Um, Give this guy the grenade launcher. He's a chump, but grenades, you know, that's what they're for, aren't they? For people who can't aim properly. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Oh, you can't put a knife on your leg, like, like jam it fuck? on your boot. That's bullshit. In the uh, belt. In the belt. Um, don't store your knives that way up, either. <laughs> pro, pro trip. Pro tip. If you're putting them in the dishwasher, that's <laughs> yeah. the only time they're allowed to be stored that way up. Yeah, maybe he's got and a dishwasher And also, there's belt. no kids around. If you've got any kids in the house, you've got... Oh, them. God, yeah. Be careful. Ginger can have a submachine gun. Pew, pew, pew. His accuracy is not good. Yeah, that's why he needs a... Uh, something to shoot slots. You have to find a submachine, gun, submachine gun rifle ammo. Oh, my God. This is a bit of a mess. Well, we'll get used to it. Oh, Jesus Christ. I think someone else is going to have to carry the, the ammo. The dog. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, my God. What's it? So oh, this, this is the light, light minigun. Gun. Should we give that? Should we just not use the regular minigun? Is he really going to need two boxes of light minigun ammo? I don't know how quickly it gets through. It's 90 rounds. That's fine. Clip. That's fine. You can have a knife. Okay. Oh, perfect. This guy's like the guy in Predator. Do you remember? With the minigun? Yes. He was like, I ain't got time to bleed. He was a hero. Uh, shotgun on this guy? Sure. Sure. You can't shoot for shit, so might as well fucking just spray it in the vague direction of the enemy. Uh, oh, this is the hazmat suit. <laughs> space burrito. You look amazing. He looks like a space burrito. <laughs> he does, just me. Oh, right. Where's the flamethrower? Here it is. How heavy is it? Oh, that's all right. Okay. Here's some, some flame tanks. He needs him his backpack. Um, Come on, you've got to put the flame tanks on the backpack. And also, oh, they're supposed right, to be vertical. Right. We can't strap them on horizontal. Who does that? <laughs> madness. So what's his backup weapon? Um, I'm not giving him a grenade, because I feel like having a grenade and a Well, the flame is quite close quite range bad. anyway. That's true. Give him a... Pistol? Pistol. Or a magnum. 
Nah, give him a pistol. I oh, can't quite hold it. He's going to need the range. No, too heavy. Ah, piss. You don't get shit. Uh, here we go. We're ready to go. Um, I think we just give it a go. Okay. Here's our new plane. Attack dog has to leave first. Out Look of the sky range. It's quite nice, the new plane. It's got a little thing on the back. And it's got doors out the side. Scroll. Side doors. Go up. It's got little... Is it like... It's, it's got, got little, little thrusters under little the wings. It's got little V insignia. What are they? Virgin? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did we buy this? Off? Looks like Vedact, actually. If we oh, made maybe. It yellow. Yeah. The X looks a bit no, like he's Vedact. sponsoring us. Scroll down. Yeah, look at that X. Oh, Mark yeah. the spot. Is that side door? Is oh. it, uh, so open, see if you open the side door. Yeah, you can just come out the side door. Oh, snap. So we just have a dog to draw Is fire? Is there a side door at the other front? Uh, well, I think are there so. two oh, side man, that, doors? That mouse wheel is twitchy. Yeah. Just open the door. There you go. Oh, man. No more just charging out the front to your doom like Normandy landing craft. Well, that'll probably happen once we get an upgrade. <laughs> this one can carry four. Oh, he more. can throw it with 0% accuracy. It costs 20 time units. I guess we just give that a go. How far can he move normally? Let's see how far he oh, can move. Oh, but look, he's lost like half his time units. Oh, because he's double, he's double his time. He's, he's triple over his weight capacity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, you're dropping your ball. It's super heavy. He doesn't like it. Oh, he's adorable. He's, he's the best. I love him. Get behind the wheel. Woof. Oh. He's got. What do you see, boy? He's got it. What someone. is it? What do you see? Woof. It's a fucking sex it's word. Fucking sex I don't word. don't know what I expected. Um, what do we want to give him? The, the business. We did. What, kind, we didn't what flavor of business? We didn't equip chin strap with grenadier deadlock at all with a weapon. Didn't we? Oh shit! What has he stood on the weapons? No. Okay, you're pulling this one out then. <laughs> well, he has a grenade. Grenade. A grenade. A grenade. Oh, should we just try and flame him? What's uh, the range on the flame? I have no idea. Um, how much does it need to fire? It's only 17. I bet it's really short range. Yeah, I bet it is too. Let's okay. fucking go and run up to him as close as we can and set his building on fire. Okay. Well, maybe we just Should we send Grenadier out as, like, the draw their fire? That's what the dog's supposed to do, isn't oh, it? Oh, okay. Oh, I feel bad using the dog as cannon fodder. Well, it's a scout dog. Scout dog. Okay, hide in the bushes, dog. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, I hate myself! <laughs> I shouldn't have told you to do that. Oh, why? Oh, my God, oh, the little noise it made. Puppy! How could you? I right, feel... we're not doing that anymore. We, we're still going to bring the dog, but we're not sending it out first. What? He was a good boy. What? <laughs> <laughs> he did exactly what he was told. I don't think... I mean, I could understand the rationale behind using them as chumps, right? But I don't think I can do that again. <laughs> no. He didn't know what he was doing. He was just like, his, his, his body, whoever told him, who's standing next to him? Deadlock was like, go get him, boy. Go that way. And he was like, woof. Where's my went. ball? Where's my it's ball? Over there. <laughs> he just ran out really excited into a fucking plasma storm.